Hello, welcome back and happy new year. Uh, it's uh, 4th of January today uh, and we have a very nice job here. We have a Dell Inspiron model number 3537 and this one came in with uh, not powering on. I checked the laptop, it's completely dead. I mean, uh, this is the original Dell charger. If we plug the charger inside, there's no lights here. And if we press the power button, nothing happens. Also, the battery, uh, with the battery, the laptop does not turn on. If we plug the battery, there's nothing happening to the laptop. We press the power button, no lights, nothing, no response at all. And even if we, if we leave the charger in for a couple of minutes, nothing is happening also. So this laptop has some uh, serious problem on the motherboard, or it might be a frozen BIOS, we don't know. But I've checked with my uh, lab power supply here, my bench power supply, and uh, once I plug my bench power supply inside, there's no response, nothing. Uh, the, the amp meter solves nothing at all. So there's no negotiating, no, no power negotiation at all with this laptop. So I'm going to open up the laptop and uh, start measuring inside to see what's going on. So stay with me. I will open the laptop and I'll be back again. Uh, I started disassembling the laptop and uh, I just uh, pressed the record button again to show you that uh, probably this, there has been a liquid damage here because I can see traces of liquid, uh, probably sugar or Coca-Cola, something which is brown and uh, sticky. So uh, probably the customer spilled some kind of liquid on the laptop and he didn't mention this. Uh, anyway, I will proceed with the disassembly and uh, I will be back once I have the motherboard on my hands. Okay. Disassemble the motherboard. Uh, the motherboard is this one. I left the, the DC jack cable plugged so we can power it and measure. So let's first investigate around the DC jack connector. So here is the connector, as you can see. Um, there is a, a resistor here, a current sense resistor probably. There is a MOSFET here. Another current sense here. Here is the battery connector with the MOSFETs and the coil. Alright. So, the plus line, as I can see, is this one. These two are the grounds, and this is the middle pin. All right. So, uh, apparently we don't have any sort, because if there was a sort in the DC jack connector, or a a zero ohm sort, the, the, the ring light of the DC jack of the power supply would uh, turn off, but it doesn't turn off. So that means that we don't have a dead short on the motherboard. So something else is going wrong here. So, okay, let me turn the other way. Right. So here is the battery. Have two MOSFETs here. Is this is some kind of liquid. Yeah, this is some kind of liquid here. Some kind of flux. I don't know. So let's do a visual inspection of the whole board if we can see anything obvious here
19 volts are present here. So probably these are present here to this chip. Yes, and upon the output. Yes, we have 19 on the current sense. We have on the output. We have on the coil. Of course, we have 19. So the 19 volts gets in. This is the charging uh, MOSFET. Yeah, we have nothing here because 13 volts, okay. This is normal, so the charging also works. So what is going on? Let me let me check on the power button. Okay, sorry, I'm back because I had the customer. So let's measure the power button here. Show you the multimeter. As you can see, this is the J power. This is the power, the, the the ribbon cable of the power button comes here. So we should have 3.3 volts if everything is okay here. So if we measure this pin, nothing. If we measure this pin, we have 3.3. This is 3.3 also, and 3.3. So what's wrong here? Let me short the first two. Yeah, and the mother will turn it on. This is crazy. Can you see the, the, the LED here? The motherboard turned on. We have an LED. Let me see if the processor is warming. Yes, the processor is warming up. So that means that the motherboard has been powered up. I don't know. Unless there was something else shorting the motherboard, the keyboard, probably or the USB ribbon cable that was connected on the other side of the motherboard. Let me check. Let me put the screen and see if the motherboard gives any display. It. Right. I'm connecting up the power again. I'm shorting the first two pins. The LED turns on, the, the fan the screen turns on. And we have a Dell that's crazy. Alright, let me start plugging things to see if we can replicate the, the problem again. Let's connect. This is a USB port, which I haven't checked, but I don't see anything weird here. Let me connect this port. Right. This is the speaker. It makes no sense, the speaker, to short out the motherboard. Connecting again the power. Shorting the first two pins and the motherboard turns on. We have a screen and a Dell logo as you can see. Alright, let me connect the keyboard also. 
the keyboard might have a problem. If there is a liquid damage, the keyboard is very suspicious to have been sorted out and causing trouble because as you can see here, there is a lot of liquid uh, traces on the keyboard. So let me connect the keyboard. The connector of the keyboard seems okay. So this one connects here. Yes. Okay, the keyboard is connected. Uh, let me put this thing under. Let me connect the power again. Let me short the first two pins. And yes, the laptop does not turn on. Yeah, the keyboard is shorted. So, the problem was the keyboard uh, in this case. So, we have to notify the customer that he has to change the keyboard. Moving it again. Plug the power back, short the first two pins, and the laptop turns on, yes. So, it was actually obvious from the beginning, but uh, it's not very common, you know, the keyboard to short out completely and kill a laptop. But this is a case, so have in mind that if you spill liquid on a keyboard, you're not going to lose only the keyboard, you, but, but you might also lose the laptop. All right, that was a short video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope the video was useful. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Ciao.